In this short intermediate PowerPoint tutorial, I want to show you how to create a timer bar in PowerPoint. And in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a countdown timer. Basically on this particular slide, when I play the presentation, if I click, it counts down five, four, down to one, and then time is up. And that's really a nice thing to know how to do. Please watch my other tutorial if you'd like to learn how to do that. But on this next slide, I would like to, instead of having a number counting down, I would like to have a bar that is across the screen, a timer bar, and that bar will disappear gradually until it gets to the very left side and time is up. And as a bonus, I would like to show you how to make a sound play when that happens, like a buzzing sound. So I'm going to escape out of this presentation, at least out of presentation mode, to get back into editing mode and I'll show you how to insert the timer bar. The first thing I would do is go to the Insert tab and choose Shapes in the Illustrations group. So there's Shapes, and I'm going to choose a rectangle. I think that makes the most sense for a bar. So I'll pick this one. I like the rectangle with some curved edges. If you prefer, you can just do a regular plain rectangle, but I'm gonna go with the curved edges. So I click on that, and then I click and drag to draw the timer bar on the screen. Now, it happened to come in in pink or purplish, but if I don't like that color, I can go up here to the Format tab that appeared when I created the shape. And with this Format tab, I can certainly adjust the color. I can choose a different style if I would like. And then when I've found one that I'm happy with, I just click on it. You can also right click and choose format shape. You'll get a panel that opens at the right and you can change the fill color and also the line color. Now that I've got my shape on the screen, I may want to shrink it down a little bit just to make it not quite so thick. But of course it's up to you to decide what you like for your timer bar. How thick do you want that to be? But I think I'll go with about that width. Next, I'm going to go to the Animations tab and click, and I want to choose Fly Out, and this says Fly In. So to get Fly Out, I have to click on this button here with the arrow, and that pops up a whole bunch of options, and one of them is Fly Out. So I'll click that. Now, it flies out, but it flies down as it flies out, and I want to change that. So here, just to the right of the different animations, but still in the Animations group, you'll see Effect Options. Click on that and it gives you the option to fly out to the left. Okay, so there's my timer bar, but it was a little fast. So the final step is here on the right, still on the animations tab and ribbon, but in the timing group, I'm gonna make sure it says start on click. That's exactly what you want. And then here for duration, I'm gonna up that to let's say 10 seconds. So I'll just replace zero one with one zero tap enter on the keyboard. So at this point, when I play this slide, this timer should start disappearing to the left and it should take 10 seconds to completely disappear. So let's try it out. I'm gonna go to slideshow from current slide. There's my timer bar, but if you remember, I set it to activate on click. So I have to click or advance the slide by using the arrow keys or a presenter remote or a space bar. So I'll tap the arrow key in this case there's my timer, and it should take about 10 seconds to get off the screen, and then it's gone. Time is up. Hopefully the students know the answer to this question, which of course is five. I'm sure you knew that. I'm gonna tap the escape key on the keyboard to show you one last option that you have. And that is, wouldn't it be nice if when the timer runs out, a sound was played, a buzzing sound or something to indicate to the students that time is up, You've run out of time. To do that, all you have to do is go here to insert and choose audio. You can see audio is in the media group. So I'll click on audio. And if you have a buzzing sound or maybe an audio clip from a TV show that the students like or some sort of fun sound, you could just choose audio on my PC and then search your PC for that audio clip and insert it in. In my case, I don't have one of those handy, so instead, I'm gonna just click and choose Record Audio. I'm just gonna do it kind of in a crude way. I'm just gonna click the Record button and just produce the sound with my voice. So I'll click, buzz, and then click OK, 
And that sound now is produced. It's right there on the screen. And I can click play to hear it. Buzz. Sounds perfect. And I might want to drag that sound just off the screen so the students don't see that sound, at least the icon for it. So now that I have the sound and I have the timer bar, how do I get the buzzing sound to play when the timer runs out? Well, what I need to do is go back to the animations tab and ribbon, and I'm gonna open up this time the animation pane. When you click that, it opens up this panel at the right, and you can see here's my animation for the timer. And then next, I have the animation of my sound. And the trick is I need to click here on the recorded sound and drag it so that it's just underneath the timer bar here in this animation pane list. And then I need to make sure by clicking on this down arrow here or just going up here to the top, I need to make sure that it says that this recorded sound will play after previous. And in this case, I'm just gonna go up here to the top, start after previous. Okay, let's test this out. I'll go to slideshow from current slide. I'll click, and 10 seconds pass uh, very, very slowly when you're watching a YouTube video, so be patient. Buzz. All right, it worked beautifully. It got down to zero, and the buzz sound played, and so I've shown you now how to add a timer bar onto your PowerPoint slides, and also how to include a sound when the timer bar gets to zero. Just so you know, you could also use the buzzing sound with a countdown timer, like the one I made in my previous video. So just know that you could insert that buzzing sound and do that the same way on this slide too. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be useful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students and watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like some recommendations on presenter remotes, please check out the links that I've put in the description below. And if you're interested in supporting my YouTube channel, consider becoming a patron of mine by going to my Patreon account and you'll see links to it in the description below. Buzz.